So I really like these cheap, inexpensive laser pointers. You know, lasers like this and this and this. Uh, the biggest reason is because they're inexpensive. They're cheap. They don't cost a whole lot. So you don't have to worry about dropping it and breaking it. And if you do, it's not like you're out two or $300. So that's the greatest thing about it. Now I've gotten all of these lasers from laserpointerstore.com. I paid $10 for this, $30 for this because it's uh, green and blue and then $10 for this. I wanted to get another one of these lasers because there's quite a bit of history behind this one or this particular model. This is the uh, the 900 series or 900 models, what it's called. And there's history behind it for me because my very first laser I ever purchased in, or purchased in May of 2015 was this exact same laser for $30 on laserer.com, L-A-Z-E-R-E-R. -E -E 30 bucks I paid for it. I got it in the mail a month later, dead on arrival, didn't even work. I sent it back. Needless to say, I never got another one. And the fact that I can get this three years later for $10, the same exact output, is just phenomenal. So that's one of the biggest reasons I like LaserPointerStore.com. So this is the 900 series or so is what it's called. You guys are probably very familiar with this particular model. It's actually case negative, just like the black one down there, which is funny because it has the, uh, it doesn't seem like that, you know, terminal down there is exposed in any way or protrudes out, but I guess it does. The switch feels great. Now this one produces a little bit more power than the black one. This produces about 90 milliwatts. And it's supposed to be 100, but like I said earlier in the previous video, I noticed that these 405 or purple laser diodes never really stop. They just kind of gradually keep going up slowly. So this actually went to like 85, 86, and gradually went up from there, uh, well, slowly, and finally hit 90 milliwatts after a while, but it never really stopped. So I'm assuming this would probably hit 100 if you left it on long enough. Now the black one is not focusable. Um, did not mention that in the last video, but the black one is definitely not focusable. Uh, however, this one is. By of course, just unloosening. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least the uh, label's definitely not lying. Less than 200 milliwatts. Sits at about 100, class 3B. You know, when you buy lasers like this from eBay, you know, there's nothing wrong with eBay, but some of the sellers on eBay, I mean, you can probably buy like a 10-pack of these things, and maybe five or six will work. It's just, it's ridiculous. Uh, that's the biggest reason I like Laser Pointer Store, because I don't have to worry about that. And even if something doesn't arrive, or breaks, or doesn't, uh, doesn't work when it gets there, he will always send you out a new one. No questions asked. It's exactly what happened to this one. Now, the quality-wise on the 900 series or 900 model actually feels to be a lot better quality than the 920. This one feels a little bit cheaper than this one, surprisingly. All right, so just for fun, <laughs> just for fun, let's do the uh, 800 milliwatt BDR209 16X versus the 90 milliwatt pointer. Funny how it actually doesn't look much brighter. Interesting. How about on the carpet?
Well, that one didn't even burn. <laughs> Let's do it that way. And they're both focused into infinity, so. Nope, that one left the ember. <laughs> so, yeah, this one's definitely producing a lot more power. But anyway, so that's just a, whoa, that's just a quick review um, of the 900 series from laserpointerstore.com.